Greetings, Sean Abbey here. Today we're going to talk about how to take water out of any tank and bring it into your machine for carpet cleaning. What we have here is a SureFlow pump with a pressure switch. They are extremely good pumps. They've got the pressure switch. We have used them for years. One thing we have found is this pressure switch tends to go out. So today we're going to talk about either finding a cheaper pump or what we have to do when we have to bypass this pressure switch. We have switched to a $37 Harbor Freight water pump. It's a DC pump. It goes uh, straight to your battery. Well, we fuse it, of course. And I'll show you on a ProCam Performer an alternative where you can just switch it into your machine. But this is, we have found these have worked fairly well. And let's, I'll show you here where it's brought in. In this particular tank, the in, we just use this outlet here. We have uh, hooked up a garden connector and we have a hydraulic store here in town called Fluid Connector Products. It's a Parker store. This is where we get all of our brass fittings. And so it just basically the water comes out. I do recommend you put a valve in there in the event you have to change this pump or service the pump and you have water in the tank, you'll want to shut this off otherwise you'll have water splashing everywhere so we've got the valve and this is what's very important is this bypass all of our pumps have a bypass system right here and basically we've got a valve that's not turned all the way off it's not turned all the way on it's about halfway what this is is on the sureflow pump that I showed you when that switch burns out you need to have a bypass otherwise this pump is constantly pushing against the float bowl and when the float bowl is full this pump is still running and so to be able to save the pump and not burn it out the water has to go somewhere so what we do is just it goes through the pump and it goes out of the pump when that float is closed it will circulate it'll come back through and just pump all the way back through until that float bowl opens then of course this isn't on all the way we do want some pressure so as soon as the float bowl opens then of course it's pushing water into the float bowl in the back of this ProCam performer and the Everest too there is a wire with a two prong plug usually it extends right out here that goes to your subsequent water uh, that's for a water pump we have tied into that and that's what we used for our Harbor Freight uh, water pump. Just simply plug into that. In this case we ran it under the machine and over to the pump which is right there. Bypassing your SureFlow pump is very easy. You've got two wires coming out of the bottom of the pump. Actually the motor. This here, this is where they run. So all you have to do is disconnect and this is your switch, see the little notch? That wire goes to your switch, one side of your switch. That wire is no longer used. You can cut it, pull it, or just let it hang if you're a redneck like me. So we've got two wires. These two wires are what's gonna run your pump. So you just reconnect these to your incoming wires and your pump is running all the time. Just make sure you're fused and of course, make sure you have a bypass. So that's it, real simple. And of course, you can replace the switch if you'd like. But uh, me, if it runs down, if it stops on the road, I'm just simply going to rewire this in the field and go back to work. And knowing me, I kind of like the constant running all the time better anyway. That's just me. So I hope that helps.